This video will demonstrate how to cross probe and cross place components between Allegro System Capture and Allegro PCB Editor. You can cross probe between the System Capture and the PCB Editor anytime, after importing the netlist. You also need to open the board file from the Project Manager. The System Capture tool is already open, and the Project 3.CPM files were loaded. Import the netlist so that both System Capture and PCB Editor will sync. Go to File, Export, Export to Layout option. The Export to Layout option dialog box is open. Choose the Layout tool as PCB Editor if it is not selected. Select the Settings option to expand the form. Using this form, you can overwrite the entire constraints or import the netlist changes only. You can decide whether you want to transfer the user-defined properties added in the schematic to the layout or not. You can use this form to control the placement and etch of modified components and nets that are getting imported. You are importing the netlist for the first time on this board. The input layout file is cds underscore master.brd. For the output board file, enter xprobe.brd. In the export to layout option form, first set the constraint manager data to export changes only, then enable the options, transfer user-defined properties, ignore fixed property, allow etch removal during ECO, and then set the place changed components to always. Let the launching of the Allegro PCB or package layout option be off. Then select OK. Now, the netlist has been generated and imported into the board file. Open this probe.brd from the project manager. Right click and select, open an Allegro option. Choose the product as Allegro PCB designer. Go and check the display status. You can see the unplaced symbols are 82, and unrouted connections are 181. Select OK and close the status window. Keep the PCB editor and the system capture window side by side. Go to Place Quick Place option, select to place all components under placement filter, set the placement position to place around the package keep in. The placement edge is right side and board layer keep it as top. Select the place and click OK. Now you can see the symbols placed on the right side. Blank the nets by clicking the unrot icon in the toolbar. Now select the parts in the schematic, the relevant part gets highlighted in the layout. In the layout I select the command highlight option from the display menu and select a part U3 in layout. The reference part U3 gets highlighted in the schematic. In this way, you can cross probe front to back and back to front in Allegro PCB editor and system capture. Selecting multiple parts or nets in layout selects all the instances in system capture. You can control this cross select feature by disabling the autos probe option, present below the project window in system capture. Once you disable this option, the option immediately disables cross-selection at all instances across the layout and the constraint manager. You can cross-probe from the front to back flow even when autos probe is disabled. Using this option is referred to as explicit cross-probing. To use this option, select the move command in the layout, select the parts and nets in the schematic, right-click and select cross-probe, now the selected parts and nets get highlighted in the layout, Select a reference point in the layout and move your cursor. Now you can see you can move the selected components in the layout. Enable the Autos Probe option in the schematic. You can also move groups of components in the PCB editor. Using the mouse right click option, I select Temp Group and I start selecting the required components in the schematic. Using Window Drag, I select U1, U2, U3, U4, and J1. You can see the selected parts in schematic gets highlighted in layout. In PCB editor, I select right click and choose complete. Now I will select a common reference point to move these components. You can see the selected components get attached to the reference point and move along with the cursor. I right click and select the cancel command to cancel the placement. Using this feature, you can do placement referring to the schematic. Using the same cross select feature you can use it for show element, blank rats, show rats, highlight, dehighlight the components and nets in the same way. The cross probe feature links schematic, 
layout and the constraint manager all at the same time. The cross select feature can also be controlled in the PCB editor at two places. The first place is at setup, user preferences menu, user interface, sprobe. If you change the variable for Allegro underscore no underscore sprobe to yes, disables cross probing, or if you set the variable as except project manager, the cross probing will work only if you invoke the tools from the project manager. The second place is at setup enable the cross probing option. If you disable this option, cross probing will be disabled in the PCB editor. That concludes the demo of using the cross probe function and place components between Allegro System Capture and Allegro PCB Editor.